Indiana basketball lost a heartbreaker Saturday afternoon here at Assembly Hall. We're here for Hoosier Illustrated. I'm Drew Rosenberg, Kyle Staley. 75-71 final. Hoosiers led for 35 minutes in the game, but lost control of the game late. Connor, what did you kind of see from the Hoosiers late? I mean, honestly, it's probably one of the best, arguably the best performance that Indiana's put on this season. Um, you know, all the wins aside, it's a very, very tough loss. Um, considering how well they played for about 35, 36 minutes, I think they had the lead. Um, you know, the first half, really good on both ends. Intensity was up on both ends of the floor, especially the defensive end. Um, thought they were rotating really, really well. Um, they did a good job on Kansas's guards, made things really difficult for them. But you get down the stretch, you know, a lot of things can be a factor of it. Um, fatigue for one of them, you know, Mike Woodson talked about that. Um, you know, coming down the stretch, Indiana only played, what was it, seven guys total, something like around there. Um, eight guys maybe, um, depending on you know who all played. But he really did a good job with his rotations, and he, he said it in the press conference it was going to be their starting five versus um, Kansas' starting five. And obviously Kansas' starting five won out um, with that. But, um, you know, it just comes down to stretch. You know, when the offense is a little stagnant, when uh, things become difficult, Kansas made things a little bit difficult on Indiana's offense. You know, when that happens, you know, Kansas, number two team um, in the country, they're going to, you know, they're going to take advantage of that, and they're going to win out those battles. Um, and that's what they did, but you got to give a lot of it to Indiana's fight this game. Um, just completely came in and you know, they had a mindset to play, um, you know, a show fight. You know, they really did bounce back from the Auburn game to an extent the way that they played, but um, just a tough loss. You know, Indiana's going to go into the non or going to go back into the conference with not a really a key non conference win. So, um, tough loss for the Hoosiers. Yeah, I don't want to say it was a wasted performance, but Trey Galloway had the. His best game is a Hoosier, 28 points, career high. What did you see from him? Tonight? This was the game that Trey Galloway needed a step up in. Um, I feel like we've been kind of waiting for that, you know, in the 10 games that Indiana has played this season, um, waiting for that senior guard to step up and become a senior guard. Um, and that's what Trey Galloway did. He, he was great slashing off the ball. I tweeted out and I said, slashing Trey Galloway is the best Trey Galloway. And I think that was really his strong point. And he was attacking the basket. You know, each lane was just open for him. Um, and he was making things difficult. He had a couple threes um, as well. So he really stepped up. You know, without Xavier Johnson, that Indiana backcourt is really depleted right now. Um, and it, it's rough on them. They really, like, you know, you go down to Gabe Cup, CJ Gunn, even Anthony Leal when he's gotten his chances. You know, those guys that had to step up. Um, and that's what Trey Galloway did tonight. You know, it is kind of a waste of performance, like you mentioned, but um, it's a good sign for Indiana moving forward because it shows you that Trey Galloway can put up these types of performances. He can do that. Um, now it's just all about doing it consistently if you're in the senior guard. Yeah, you mentioned like fatigue. Trey Galloway played 38 minutes. Cups played 37. Not having Xavier Johnson clearly hurt the Hoosiers. Just not having that, that another ball handler to really work out of and run the offense through. But Galloway really found a rhythm out of that um, mid post pick and roll with um, Cleo Ware, which really got the Hoosiers going offensively, but then kind of got stifled towards the end and really fell off. I guess. What did you see from the Hoosiers offensively late, turning the ball over, kind of really got stagnant late in the game? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just fatigue at that point, and you're facing a really, really good team in Kansas. I mean, I know that's kind of a generic answer, but that's just kind of what it is. Um, you know, Kansas, they're good enough, you know, they're scrappy enough to where they're going to, you know, make things difficult down the stretch if the game's within reach. Um, and that's what happened. Indiana's offense just got stagnant, and they haven't been able to put on – a 40-minute offensive performance yet. Um, they were really close tonight, really, really close, but um, just didn't get to there. And then you throw in the turnovers. Uh, Indiana ended up with, what was it? 14, 14 turnovers. Um, most of those came in the first half, so they did clean it up. Um, but the key turnovers came in the late in the half, and that's the problem. So um, Indiana's got to take care of the ball. Um, they got to be a little bit better. They got to be smart with the ball. They got to get better shots. But, um, you know, for 36 minutes this game, Indiana was the better team on the floor. Um, just could not close it out. Um, it's a tough one. This one really, really stings. It obviously stings more than the Auburn game uh, where Indiana didn't show up. Indiana did show up today. They, they showed a lot of competitiveness. So it's something you can build on. Um, you just hope they don't have a letdown game for the remainder of the calendar year with their remaining three games, I think, before they get back in the Big Ten play. So we got to take care of business, fix some things. Hopefully Xavier Johnson's back um, in time for, you know, Big Ten. You know, his, his status is still up in the air. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. Indiana's, I, I think you are seeing an Indiana team that's getting better and better each game. Um, now it's just all about, you know, being smarter and, you know, just trying to figure out a way to figure out and play a 40 minute game. Yeah, uh, for all IU Athletics, follow uh, Indiana underscore FRN on Twitter, Facebook. Make sure you're subscribed to Who's Real Illustrated on YouTube and Spotify for 
game recaps, the Talking About the Hoosiers podcast, and much more covering IU basketball, football, and all things IU athletics. 